Hello, hello, hello. You've survived the Monday return. And now we are in the evening. We will relax with some nice, never stressful rain world. <laughs> um, we will definitely be finishing Gourmand today. I know we're close to the end. I don't know how close, but the plan is if it's like very short, I might uh, jump straight into Rivulet. Um, but we will we'll play it by ear. We'll see we'll see how long. We don't I don't know if the uh, I don't know if we're gonna run into a skishu that takes me three hours. <laughs> that happens then uh, maybe not. But we'll see. We'll we'll just see how things pan out. Um, before I jump into Rain World, I do want to talk about the um, the speed run event that happened this weekend um, that I ran in. Um, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, blew away all the goals. They had set for a tiny community, barely a week of promo, if you could call it that. Um, we raised uh, about $650 for the Rainforest Trust. Um, so thank you, anyone who stopped by, who hung out. Um, if you helped by uh, donating, if you helped by spreading awareness, um, or if, you know, you weren't able to that's also perfectly fine there are a lot of great causes and sometimes you just don't have the time or ability to help out in all the ones um and sometimes you just don't hear about them in time again it uh there was not a lot of promotion um so the fact that we were still able to uh, uh collect um 650 was astounding so thank you. And there's plans to do something else. It's not going to be the last time. Um, a lot of the administration or people's uh, managing the speedruns are still working out specifics of downpour. Um, like as far as like what are the rules for categories? What's interesting what's fun what are the you know all all that stuff that happens whenever there's a new patch to a game and downpour was a very big version change lots of stuff added lots of stuff removed lots of stuff changed and um i hope we can jump on and participate even more because there are a lot of incredible people in the rain world community just artists uh, uh runners general tech people uh i uh they're just they're so helpful they're so nice and they make a lot of really great stuff so i was very happy they accepted um my run even though um if you didn't watch um it was rough <laughs> even even accounting for leeway for things to get scuffed the run went very long uh not too bad but it was it was very frustrating. Uh, now I know firsthand what marathon luck means because the number of things that happened uh, that one I hadn't run into before, and two happened at areas that I don't have alternate strategies for. I just have to do it again. I just gotta run it back and not get scrongled and it it scrongled oh boy did it scrongle me pretty hard but it was still a lot of fun um i'm sure there were a lot of great moments um i am i am a little bit embarrassed at how how bad it did so i i like uh i don't know i have the i have the vod on my computer um uh, but on twitch that's uh that's gonna stay mulched i think i might i might Take a couple select moments because uh, I don't. If if you've ever been around here, uh, hi, I scare easy, <laughs> and uh, there were there were a couple there were a couple jump scares that got me, and uh, I had a lot of fun making a scream compilation, uh, a Drecky get scared compilation when I played through Soma. 
And I set that to one of like the memetically dramatic songs that people, you know, set compilations to. Um, I'm suddenly blinking on what what it is. The da 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 da, and you know, it crescendos, makes it perfect for like slowly building up. I've been trying to think of what I could do with Rain World, especially because I've going been going through all of the characters. Um, and I've been sorting them into folders, so like I can I have all my runs per character separated. Um, I've got to make some kind of compile compil compilation video, but I don't know what would be best for it. Um, because there's certainly a lot of gold. Uh, I feel like I might need to play with uh, Da Vinci Resolve because I would like to quickly scrub through and just take all the snippets out and then just see what I have on snippets. But I don't know how to like actually get those snippets out, if that makes sense. Because when I edit videos, it's not actually cutting it down and the only way to like actually just get that snippet is to like put all of them in a single video and then export that video on its own and then it will actually break everything up i feel like there has got to be a way to do it within the program itself it might just be i need to make like a mega a mega timeline and then go through all of the videos one by one and just take the snippets to put on there. And then I'll just have to edit from there. I don't know. That's a, that's a problem for future Drecky. Because um, my current project is I'm working on manually subtitling uh, the sub two hour uh, survivor of 100%. Um, I feel like breaking the two hour barrier um, is important enough that it deserves quality subtitling. Um, so I've been doing that. It would go faster if I wasn't a picky little fuck. Uh, I, I, I spent 30 minutes on a 30 second section because I kind of went a little sing-songy voice that I noticed. So I made it into like lyrics and like as I'm saying syllables, they get added to the subtitle so you can like... Add... <laughs> what? Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> This is 100% unforced error, self-inflicted work, extra difficulty, that didn't need to be done. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's jump in to the Kuomon. Oh, let me open up one thing before I forget. Yeah, I like how that looks. Oh, oh, brutal. Um, actually, I think left gets us to Gourmand faster. It bugs me that the downpour slug cats are not in chronological order. I don't know what order they're in because it's like Gourmand, Artificer, Rivulet, Beer Master, and then Saint. That's a really that's a that's a super cut order, all right. Okay, so we got to subterranean. Um, we need to go west, and we have to take a really jank route to do that uh, because we wasted like two hours, I think. God. Because I mis misunderstood, I misremembered. Pick your poison, what Pebbles said. Um, I thought he told me to go... I thought he told me the area was south and west of garbage wastes. I'm just like running around there. It's like, I don't see any place new. Where are we? What's going on? And then uh, I... Hi! Doodle Connor! Hey! Welcome on by holy holy nuggets doodle 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 connor hey hey
Welcome, Kisara. And all the cool. Doodle Connor bringing all the cool people. Uh, just in case you somehow got here raiding from Doodle Connor and are not already following them. Uh, let me help you make that easy. There should be a little button right there up in chat. Just click on that and bam. You can see the amazing otter artist herself um, whenever they go live. Um, what were you do? Hmm. Did my raid not work? Let's see. Hmm. What did I break? Let me let me double check real quick. But I hope you had a great day. Also, thanks for uh, welcome to the Ziggurat, Lance the Bean. I hope you have a great time. C O T L. That I feel like I should know what that means. The acronym is escaping me for a second um let me see did i mess is something still messed up so i did i did like a speed running event over the weekend and they were the way they worked it is by restreaming a stream but i had to disable a bunch of stuff and i tried to un mess up everything but I had to have missed something they usually have a little text mess oh call to the lamb ah yes ah that's always a cute game uh that's always been fun to jump in on how'd it go ah so it was actually the first time I've been in a speed run like participated as a runner it uh I now know firsthand what everyone means by the uh the marathon luck because it was uh, it was rough, even accounting for uh, we had some leeway. Because you know, just in case things went wrong, um, we had plenty of time, and even then, uh, we still went a little bit over. Uh, just because, like, it uh, there was there was there was certainly some skill issue. I got I got a little I got a little nervous. I got a little flustered um, with with some things I was running into. But I was having some scenarios I hadn't had to run into before. Um, in an area that I have no backup, the only thing I can do is just do it again. You have to avoid watching Gormon because you haven't beat it yet. Yes, um, we are, this should be, we should be finishing Gormon today. I don't know if it's going to be like 30 minutes or if it's going to be a few hours. Um, depending on how that goes, we'll probably, we might jump right into Rivulet. Um, but I hope you have a fantastic day. And I hope you enjoy Gourmand because he is pure muscle and very interesting. Oh, thank you, Fluid. Um, but we are in um, subterranean. Um, so if if you didn't know, last time we got to Pebbles, he told us. I thought he told us to go under garbage wastes and west. So I lost like an hour, hour and a half yesterday, or yesterday, last week, just being confused. Because that's not where he told us to go. Um, I finally broke down after stream and double checked um, just the rough route, and it was, it was subterranean. Um, so I am correcting that. And then we will see what the area is like. I believe the place we're heading to is the other new area added in Downpour. I believe, I know Pipe Yard is new, and I believe the area we're heading to is also a new area exclusive to having Downpour. Oh, we got a chonky boy for a chonky boy. Ooh, get that, get, get that senti, get that senti, boy. I really don't want to fight this caramel here because they have as much health as a green, so they are very tanky. But he is in our way. There is kelp above us. You know what we do? We do not die to kelp. Okay, so I'm do have some spears back. <laughs> 
I might try and stab him and then walk back for another spear. Or I could die to worm grass, apparently. Ow. Ow. All right, buddy, you wanna you wanna take a bite? Nope. All right. We're gonna die to worm grass. Cool. Awesome. Amazing. Love it. Well, I hope you have a fantastic evening, Doodle Connor. And streaming's hard work, so I do not blame you. Get some rest. Get some noms. Get some eep if it's that time. Oh, we. I'm certainly dreading going back to work tomorrow. You t big enough to be a threat? Certainly not a threat after I eat ya. <laughs> hey, give me my spear. Thank you. All right, we got some food in our belly. Let's um. You know what? I probably could have gone over because uh, even if the kelp touched me, I can stun it by stabbing it with the spear. The only problem is, is I would get exhausted after stabbing it with the spear. Hey, Chibi Geek! Welcome on by! I hope you are having a good Monday evening. Oh, dang. Is he gonna die? Nah, I think he's immune to worm grass, actually. Oh, I made myself exhausted for no reason. Hey, buddy. You want to chase me through this pipe and fall? Want to chase me doing art fight drawings? So, I've been seeing art fight going around. I'll be honest. I don't know what it is. Is it like an official thing where... You draw art of someone, and if they're on the, the the website, they you send it to them through that, and it's some kind of official thing. I don't know. I guess I guess like I don't understand what the combat part of it is. I don't know if it's just like everyone's in brackets and then people vote kind of thing or I don't know. Um wow. Blood and ashes. All right. Um Is that our only way through where we need to go? Why am I having so much trouble getting through Wormgrass? That is just baffling. Where's that carrot? Where's that mole lizard going? I might go that way. Star Tribe website have a bunch of work. Artists get sorted into teams and attack each other. Oh, I see. Interesting. So I guess it's sort of a way to like, in a way it's, what's uh, the, gotta be a better, oh, that's the only one coming to me. So like, I'm thinking like speed dating, but not like not not like dating, but it's like running into random shuff throwing you at random artists that you might not otherwise have discovered before sort of thing. And then you can sort of get to know each other by arting each other. If I'm understanding correctly, that's that's kinda kinda one thing it's sort of doing. You know, I think we gotta go over, and we gotta not die to kelp, alright? Remember, we do not die to kelp. If we can get up. Kelp. Can I not get up? Alright, I can use my spear to have a pole, but then I can't get... ...stun the kelp. 
All right, nope. How do I get through this? No! Come on, finish eating me. Just fucking exit. I really hope I don't need a bunch of karma wherever I'm going because I am losing it all. Hmm. Maybe we see if we can just go west through the train cars, perhaps? Gourmand, I need you to not go ass first. Thank you. This is just an awful room for Gourmand, it seems like. I'll take it. I'm glad there's a centipede right there just to fill me up on. Actually, there might be a gooey duck to the left. If we can get one of those, then we can just use that for the worm grass and we'll be fine. all the other art styles and way they design their characters super inspiring. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of amazing artists and cool people. Yeah, I think that would just drop us down and we we would be going the wrong way. Well, in this game, they are not sea things. That is a spider. You spider. I don't know what just happened. I think I spat something up by accident. You know what? You can have that, mole lizard. You, you can have the spider. Let the base take Welcome on by, Miss Nil. Welcome on by. What are you, what are you doing, Grimon? Go up. Uh, gooey ducks in this game are more of a, like, hard-shelled plant thing, and it, um, causes worm grass to disperse, basically. So if you are having, if you're holding a gooey duck and crawl through worm grass, it won't um, hurt you. Hmm. No! Are you fucking... I don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't... I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. How did I die on that one? A lot of ashes. Just finish an attack and move how it turned out. Or the character. Saw them, you had to draw them. That's awesome. It's always nice when people are excited to do things they are passionate about. I certainly wish people had more opportunities to pursue their passions like that. So whenever, whenever it can happen, Always take joy in it. I will stab you five times if you will fuck off. Alright, but don't take my spear. Damn it. Well. We've been disarmed. Okay, I've got my trusty rocks. With this, we can make our own spears. 
Like the ancients. Screw the rock, I have a new spear. Or I could, I could fall, you know, I can do that too. Ugh. Hmm. You know, this, a lot of this is just a self-inflicted thing because I came down to subterranean from a very poor direction. What is a scav doing here? Um. Um. Okay. Things that happened. That. Hmm. Let go of me. Alright, so I basically have to roll through worm grass or else it kills me. I messed up! <laughs> Standing on top of it. <laughs> Gourmand asserting dominance. Alright. No shot! Okay. I was hoping to ground stab so I can get through that kelp before it got active again. Alright, so I need to... Alright. Let's wait to finish resting. Um... I need a rock or something. Okay. Let me make sure I'm not tired. Get through there. Alright. We're going to go over. The kelp will probably touch us. If I don't miss and I hit it with a spear, that should stun it. Or I could mess up. Oh, I messed up. Alright, we gotta wait to not be exhausted. I need to go get my spear again. Take it a little slow to make sure I don't get an exhaustion event mid uh, help. Jazia, welcome on by. It is a very eerie area. I am pretty much dying constantly to these freaking worm grass. Oh, now I get past it just fine this time. Okay, dude. All right. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and eat. I hope I hope you're doing okay, Jazia. I've never I don't think I've experienced shingles and it seems not so bueno. Oh, there was a there was a there was a axolotl there. Um cool. Awesome. Let the skeleton inside you escape the flesh prison. Yeah, exactly. We are all simply brains piloting bone mechs with flesh armor. No! I rolled right into the kelp and then missed it. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I hate when I have to roll for gender, and then I, uh, fail my gender check. Um, it just gets really awkward for everyone involved. Uh, but, you know, that's what happens when, uh, perception is your dump stat. 
Well, I was going to kill that and eat it, but I guess not. And hey, the caramel fell down. So if we can get into that other area, we should be smooth sailing. Death! Yay! Sometimes it's not even just the insurance. The fucking... Um... Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Are you okay, buddy? I, I'm so sorry. Um, or rather, like, sometimes you even have the insurance and then it's just fucking pulling teeth to get them to actually do the thing you're paying them for. Ugh. That's so stressful. Let me out! I wish to be free! Help! 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 Help me! Help me! Help me! I'm dead. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, the little guy over here. Uh, uh, this is this is uh, we we tamed an axolotl. Um, it looks looks a little green. Um, I think he's still working on it. Whoops, wrong button. But this would oh, you probably. You probably can't read that. Oh, you probably can't read that. All right, you know what? Let me let me just use a button instead. Uh, that little guy is made by Glottal, who does a bunch of art, live 2D rigging. Um, he's been working through Final Fantasy IX as well. Um, he is very comfy, very great person. Uh, and that is a little free... Hey, what you want, little mascot guy he made. Um, he's still working, I believe he's still working on uh, picking some bugs and making it easier to use. So I'm not sure it's officially released yet. I was doing some testing for him a while back. I think he's gone back to the drawing board. I haven't heard from him on it in a while. They ate you alive, that was drawn out. Yeah, they gotta, they gotta like drag you down and that can take a while. And it's really frustrating because the Gourmand is a strong boy, but he gets tired. Um, and it seems like Wormgrass is just like his biggest weakness because uh, he seems to struggle with escaping it. Like every other slug cat I played, you could just walk through the blue Wormgrass and you'll be fine. Hmm, delicious. Ah, the old government insurance. Get that. I don't think it's Tricare. I think Tricare is DOD specific, but yeah. Imagine other people getting, um, people to be leaking classified information just because they're like, hey, we'll, uh, cover those medical bills. We'll, uh, we'll pay for that dental. Be like, shit. Being a counter spy gives me dental off. Oh, fucking sign me up. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I get, I get through it sometimes, but other times I don't, and I don't understand the difference between the two. I thought I would pounce through! Fuck me. I have to go through there, and that's the frustrating part. There is nothing I can do except go through there. Hey, I, I.
Yeah, if you got anything specific other than gooey duck. I don't think I can get to any gooey ducks where I am in subterranean. If I go left, my only option is to go down, it looks like. It seems like I have to go over to get over. <laughs> I need you to go right, Caramel. It's like, I sometimes I get through it just fine, and then other times I get stuck. And I, I can't see what the difference I'm doing is. Alright, I'm just gonna... You grab a pole while the grass has grabbed you, you're basically doomed. Really. So I just have to run straight through? I, I thought the pole would actually help me and I could just like pull myself out with the pole. Um, That caramel is having a time. I mean, to be fair, these days insurance uh, is more of a... Uh, bureaucratic thing than anything. I need y'all to take your fight elsewhere. Good sir. That was a spider, a malt lizard, and a caramel all partying. I don't like that. I think they took my spear with them though. So that's fine. Scav up there doing a little wiggle. Doing a little booty shaking up there. I always love how the lizards bite the centipedes and then just get zapped. And then their next thought is, I'm gonna I'm gonna bite it again and see if anything different happens. Slug him in the face. So cat should slug enemies. <laughs> Hmm, true, true. Hey, Bat. Hey, Bat. You want to get my tummy? Nice and safe in there. I lied. It's not safe at all. Ah, uh, see? I guess... I don't know. I was able to run through that time. Delicious scent. All right, we are full on food. Love that for me. Uh, what does a bat and a rock become? Becomes a mushroom. All right, that's kind of useless. Ah, we have got a axolotl to deal with. I don't know where it is. Aha! Hey, buddy. I can't see you, but you you know where I am, don't you? Don't you? Vertical velocity is less effective against grass than horizontal, and the falling part of your jump might actually make it worse. Interesting. Noted. Axolotl, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. Fight me. Fight me like a lizard. Oh, he licked my booty. I don't know if that spear hit him. I think it did. I think we got him. All right, now we just have to get through this guy, which is actually fairly easy. I just have to not mess it up. Um, do we go over or under? Um, I think we can make it under.
I didn't re-grab my spear. I hope I find a new one over here. Love the lighting in this area. It is very beautiful. Underground in general is very cool. Ah, I made a bat fly. <gasps> Ooh, we made a gooey duck. Ooh, we made a gooey duck. Okay, baby, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. So like, uh, oh, the karma flower. So the uh, gooey duck like emits a gas that repels worm grass. Oh, I guess I could have grabbed one here. All right now I don't have a spear. Hey, All right, we have a blue in our way. I don't have a spear. I kind of want to grab one of these centipedes and throw it at the blue after taking a bite out of it. I need to do some food alchemy to open up my stomach. Oh, there's a spear right here. All right. Uh, yeah, the real life gooey duck is pretty in SFW. <laughs> You're not wrong. All right, so I'm gonna go down here. Bit of wiggling. Go down here. And over here should be what I call the friend car. We can rest there. Oh, thank dog. Yep. Yeah, we can get some progress. All right. Uh, I think what I'm actually going to do is there are a fuck ton of centipedes here. I'm going to drop my shit off and we're going to get some centipedes. Ah! All right. One tased me. We got the other one. Most balanced shelter in the game. It is... It was very nice for 100% um, uh, runs. Because you have access to a blue, you have access to centipede, and it's perfect for getting um, hunter, friend, and then saint if you still need it, which you usually did. Um, which is one of the reasons... Um, my new route that I've been doing for Survivor 100% is spicy. Um, the mid game in industrial has become much more important and a little bit RNG. Which sucks, but I think it's actually mathing out to be faster than the original route from pre-downpour. Ooh. I think this is the place, because it has, like, minimum karma, and I'm fucked. Yeah, uh, yeah, only five cycles worth of food nearby. I mean, there is that caramel, technically, but it is like a couple screens away. All right, this never been in this area. I don't know if this is just another art. I feel like it's got to be the new place. Maybe. Need to head west. Really the only direction. I'm just kind of wanting to go up to see if... 
there is anything. That's a spider. Uh, you know what? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Um, unrelated. We're gonna we're gonna go down here now, rather than over top. God damn it! All right, we have to go over top. All right, looks like they're scuttering away, so we are fine. And there is another one. Blood and ashes. All right, hate this. Hate this for me. Hate this for me. All right. Just keep going. Hold on. Fuck you. Uh, I'm gonna check. I does this lead back to no someplace different? All right. I was wondering if it led left from that area that uh I went up from. Am I full on food? Oh, I am full. Noted. Maximum car because they didn't want you to come back. Yes. Usually a sign that it is a difficult area that wants you to enter and leave from a different place. Sunken Pier. Interesting. Are we going to take a boat? Ooh, we're getting some music. Extra gooey decks here. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this one. I do like how you like crack them open. It's like much, 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 much. That's right. Get away from me, worm grass. I've got a secret weapon. The goo duck. Also, yeah, because Pebbles don't want me coming back. It certainly feels... It's... I don't know if it's a ditch or a do, but it's kind of got that same sort of sound. That kind of... That kind of buzz... That deep, buzzy noise. And... I feel like... The area in, if you go down subterranean towards Transcendence, you also have sort of that same instrument. So I, I still feel like we're getting a bit of spiritual vibe, if that makes sense. All right. No, no, no. Continue. Please continue, music. I- I would pr- ah! ah! Buttons. Buttons. Oh, I've barely started today. I cannot be this jumpy. Oh, my god. Oh. Oh, god. Oh. I think I killed it by falling on it, which is good because I think I think I put my spear in the wall. All right, we got a new spear. 
I don't know if there's still worm grass, but I would rather be armed. I'm gonna try and watch for drop wigs this time. Hopefully that spider gets triggers the drop wig. EBH. Alright, see a spider up there. Fine. Fine. Go through here. Did I actually squash them? Yes! The Gourmand can Goomba enemies. Um, and I think that's exactly what I did, because my spear absolutely hit the wall. Ooh. This is some interesting threat music. Do a little pipe juking real quick. No, you're supposed to stay on the other side! Oh shit, I'm exhausted. Shit. Let me rest. Oh, I'm exhausted again! Ah! Alright, let's see if he comes right back. Alright. Now he just does some spins. Alright, dude. You do you, I guess. Leave me alone! Oh, we have squid cicadas. Ay, 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 ay! Give me a rock! Alright, we have a rock. We're good now. Alright, now I think we pipe juked him. Right, and let me rest. Okay. Why do we still have the danger music? Hmm. Alright, we have our Karma Flower again, for all the good it will do us. Alright, I know it's eventually probably going to force me to go down. I'm just kind of seeing how far I can go up. Alright, I th think I need to throw boost to get over that. There we go. It's so awkward because I kind of... Well, I guess I could have used a squid cicada, but I think Gourmand is a bit too... That's a pole mimic, isn't it? Oh, it's not a pole plant. All right. Oh! Danger! That's why! Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that synth. That's a cool jam. Buddy. You're not gonna get me, buddy. You're not gonna get me. How you feel about that, huh? 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 You still want some? You still want some of this? You still want some of this gourmand, huh? I'll muck you up, buddy. I'll muck you up. Don't you think I won't? I got spears for days, buddy. Hmm. He might be a problem. We are running out of train tracks. I do not have a rock to turn him around. I'm trying to make some noise. He's reacting so he can hear me, but... Freshly washed oiter. Ooh, nice. Always feels good to get nice and clean. Right, I need a rock. I have obtained a rock.
All right. The blue is no longer in our path. Let's continue up here. Through the sunken pier. All right. Hmm, I see. We're gonna need to drop, but not all the way. No! I fucked up! Ah! Alright. We can fix this. I can fix this. I think. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Ah, I see. I don't like this. Alright, we are good to go still. I need a new rock, though. Just don't fuck up. He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super simple. You just, you just gotta not fuck up. Uh huh? Uh huh? Got it. Why didn't I think of that? Um, that's a scav place, I think. Hell yeah. You got the rare boot. Congratulations. Thank you, Jazia. Ooh, that's a big jump, baby. Yeah, we made it! But at what cost? Uh, I don't know where my spear went, however. Uh, rest up real quick. Hmm. Well, our spear's probably gone. Ooh. There's a pearl up here. Interesting. That is so pretty. All right, uh, we have a shelter here. I'm gonna make use of it. It is a beautiful view. Oh, why is, why is he angry? Oh, I think I might've accidentally key smashed. Here is my trusty rock. May not be much. I... Alright, good. I didn't lose this pearl. While I may not take this pearl to Moon, or anyone to get it red, um, I feel like there's going to be a good amount of scav presence. Because that is like the second scav setup we've seen so far. He's so rotund. Yeah! Yeah, the gourmand. This sleek specimen of a slug cat is pure muscle, all right? Call him fat at your own risk because this little guy puts his entire body into his spear throws. Have I considered a squishy chubber snake model? <laughs> I think the only thing I have that's close to squishy would be uh, the the plush that uh, Raya has made. This little this little thing. Just move this over here. Boop. I I certainly have notes of things I would like. He's fat like a bird, it's all like, eh. No, he's like, 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 if you've ever seen, um, I can't remember, like, the picture. I, I'm pretty sure it's, like, a specific series of pictures of showing just, like, you know, what people think is fat, what is actually fat, like, you know, you know all those. And, like, one of them is, like, um, let me not waste my entire cycle while I go on a, uh, 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 uh sidetrack of, uh, like, the, sh like, actual strongmen competitions. How they all look very barrel chested and such because you need a strong core to be supporting all of your muscles like that's the gourmand 
Like, he looked thick, but it's just solid slab of muscle. And he certainly shows, because he, he one-shots a lot of lizards. Up there. What am I doing? This is ground. Let me go down here. Um, what's down here? I am afraid I will fall, actually. Let's just continue over. Yeah, Strongman be eaten! Yeah, he's gotta, he's gotta keep his, uh... Gotta keep his food intake. How the fuck? Oh, wait, can I? Oh! Actually, I might be able to do that. Hold on. Or maybe I just take this. I was like, maybe I could... Item instant wall pounce. I do want to get to that upper area. I don't think it's walkable. I don't think it's designed for you to actually traverse. So I'm just going to do this. Now Tim would add it to the pile of plushies I'm currently nested in. Oh my god. I miss having a pile of plushies. Um, I don't make this jump unless I'm above. I could try a wall pounce, but I feel like I might fall to my death. So we're going to go for it. Oh, okay. No! No! All right, I definitely need to throw boost that. Uh, and it looks like wall pouncing gives me too much height. And I actually, um, or the item instant wall pounce gives me too much height. And I bop my head on the ceiling and it drops me down. I would love a Drucky plush. I would also... I kind of kind of want to look for some arts and crafts person that do commissions. I want to I want to direct you on a string. I think that would be hilarious as well. <laughs> Bloop. Yeah, bloop. Aha! All right, we have two rocks. We can do I think a double I think double throw boost and we should make it just fine. Those are with the shape muscles they eat so much. Yeah. It's not cheap. It certainly adds up. Although I will say, like, you know the easiest way to be in the fittest, fittest shape of your life? Literally have no obligations then to work out. It's really easy when you don't have to worry about a job, uh, uh... Uh, medical issue, like, take all those issues off the table, and man, it's really easy to get fit. Kona Bird, welcome on by. How you doing? Cow toy Dracula. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll never catch me. Let me put this shiny orb into my stomach. Aw, oh, thank you for the head pads. Slyrak. Alright, I need... Hopefully we find some more Debris, because I need another one. Um... Actually, let me get a spear, because that will actually give us even more vertical. Ah! How dare you eat me into the void. You better you better enjoy it while you can, alright? Come, uh... Come eventually, I will have... I will have... That will be a risky endeavor. I messed up. I messed up. Hmm. Oh, I am so sorry. I Too many of my fucking programs all look the same. I thought I had it open. Let me fix that. You know, what I really need to do, ultimately, is I need to fix, or rather update, my, uh, my, oh, my prepare streaming button. I made a button on my stream deck that would open every single program I use for, uh, to, to get up for streaming. Just have everything open at once. And then I got lazy and stopped using it, and now I have a bunch of stuff that I now use that are not on it. And also it probably needs to be reconfigured because I set it up 
way long ago before I even had StreamerBot or anything. Um, let me unhide that because I don't think it connected. No, it did connect. All right. Let me refund that. And we will do a test to make sure. Yep. Looks good to me. There's an OBS extension for that. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, what was I doing? I was going... left. And then down. Thank you for the snags. And the gnomes. I, I, I need all these distraction devices. They will help me in uh, these areas to come, I think. I feel like we're going to run into a lot more lizards that can walk on the back wall. Which, I need... Okay, we don't need a spider skug because we have grapple worms. We can do that. But we do need a skug... Ah! Who can hold on to fucking poles? Damn it, Gourmand! A, uh, a slug cat who can, like, climb on the background like some lizards can would be pretty fun. Obviously pretty broken as well, because then you can just go really far away. Probably make it part of their stamina, kind of like swimming. So you can, like, crawl on the wall for a while, and then eventually you'll fall down. Ooh, that's a bomb. I wish I could take it. That's not a bomb, that's a scav! He could have bombs, though. Hey, buddy! Uh, I'd give you this spear, but I kinda need it. Assuming I don't die. I like not dying. That's my favorite thing to do. Alright. Now we are here. We need to get out. Alright. Need to set up. Woo! Alright, we made it. Almost. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, those colors. Oh, outer expanse. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a vine plant that got me at the last minute. I was about to die. I was going to cry. Oh, worm grass. Oh. Are those... I swear I saw, like, the flowers pulsating. All right, I see worm grass. I see worm grass. I see a caramel! No, 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 no! Oh god, there's another one! What the fuck? Ah! Ah! Fuck this room, man! Fight over me! Fight over me! No! 
Let me through the pipe! No! <sighs> oh, man. Are they gonna lose me to worm grass? Look at the disrespect. He's just slamming me against the ground. I know I injured one of them, I think. So I'm I'm kind of hoping I'll they'll let me go. Maybe. Yeah, this one has a spear in him. I stabbed this one. So he absolutely could drop me. Unless he drops me in the worm grass. Question mark? All right, this is taking too long. Let's just let's just reset. Okay. Um what if we take what if we take a different path? Uh, mostly because I want one of these gooey ducks. We'll put the pearl in our stomach in case we ever need it to pay a toll. Grab a gooey duck. Have a rock in our other hand. And let's try some of the other looking paths. Mm, do we want rock or spear? Let's take a spear. Spears are a lot more rare than uh, gooey ducks. All right. All right, where does this take us? Oh, this feels ominous as all get out. Ah, that's a wall. Okay, noted. Ah, I can't get up there. Okay. Okay. Machinery. Interesting. Hey, speaking of scav holes, let's uh, cough up that pearl real quick. Uh, did they accept my tribute? I think they did. Alright. We're good to go to keep on going. Now, I think if we get our scav rep high enough, we basically can just go through tolls. Like, they won't charge us anything anymore. This doesn't seem like a gate. That's weird. It's like... Kind of a cool area, but I wonder if it's a broken gate, because like both things are open. Oh kill. Uh hey buddy, how about um I go this way and you don't eat me? Cool? Cool. Oh Kelp, my fa yeah, my favorite. Um, all right, we're at the Outer Expanse. Can't really go left, so we go right and down. Oh, the, the flowers are, like, pulsating. Like, they're, like, opening and closing. Interesting. We do not go right and drop. Noted. Oh, that looks so tropical. Exact. Yes, absolutely. It really does. Like a lot of the rain world areas 
the environments really give a strong vibe of, you know, there were things here, they've been abandoned, and they're being reclaimed by nature. You know, things are overgrowing it. This outer expanse area, though, it really feels like just a much more advanced version. Like, this is, like, actual wild farmlands or just, like, outside the cities, the suburbs or something like that, where there's not, like, dense factory machinery or stuff. Um... And so there, there's much more wild plants growing everywhere. Much more stoof. Okay, hold on. I need a gooey duck. Although I wonder what's powering all these. You know, there's still... Obviously there's still some machinery apparently that's working. Unless the scabs are build maintaining it. I don't think they are. I feel like they just kind of build stuff around and collect shiny pearls. And fall apparently. Like this. Don't take my gooey duck. All right, you know what? Slag it. We'll just we'll just go. We'll just we'll, we'll find we'll find more stuff. See, right there. Already a new spear. I love how fast he can zoom. Out. I bonked my head. Hey, buddy. What you? Whoa. Um. Please don't crush me, machinery. Oh, it's a rest place? Okay, I'll take it. Noted. And we have a bomb spear now. You know what? I'm feeling a little spicy. Let's take it. I'll probably kill myself with it, but you know what? For a very brief moment, I'll feel pretty cool. Yeah, the background art in most everywhere is good. Oh no! No! No, Scav, you fool! You forgot rule number one! Don't die to kelp! Poor bastard. Eat some sushi in honor of that uh, scavenger. Alright, I think I saw a way that we can go. I think there was an uppies. I don't see a way on the left. But I think we I think I think I see poles we can climb on the right. Maybe. I can actually jump instead of just, like, fall. Okay, that was a pull. Good stuff, I'm not crazy. Hmm, don't like this. Don't like this at all. Oh, this is terrifying. No way I could ever do that. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this architecture. This architecture. Ooh. Hmm. I just kind of want to sit here and listen to this music. It's very... 
melancholy. Flying buttress? Yeah, something like that, it seems. Is that... I think that's an area we've been to before. Yeah, alright. Ah, the gnomes! Can't believe even the gnomes made their way up here! Ooh, oh, we gotta climb the tower. We gotta climb the tower. Cool flag. Thanks, it's explosive. <laughs> oh, the train network is up here? You're explosive. Oh, thank you. Oh, this. Ah, all right. So this is where that would have spat. Oh, oh, okay. And then if we go down that, okay. All right, I know where we're at. Ah! Can't believe that. Yeeting me. Just like that. I don't know what I did to deserve this. Ooh. Oh, is there gonna be an echo here? No, it doesn't have the weird blue effect. I thought for a second it would though. Oh, no, 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 no! You can't take me! Did I just act? I accidentally explosion boosted my way out. Ah! Amazing. Alright, calculated. Meant to do that. <laughs> Make your void yeet last longer. Oh, oh. Oh, there's gonna be changes to void yeet. Should have them done. I meant to have them done today, and then I realized, wait a minute, I have to set up a bunch of other stuff for it to work. And then I forgot to get the sound effect. Then one thing led to another, and so I put a pause on it. Um, I know I have like some uh, stuff for affecting Mike. I just haven't messed with any vocal effects after I fixed my mic. Cause uh Oh, I think oh I think this is the double caramel room. I think we're on the other side of it. Um So for a while I something was wrong with my mic, is what it felt like. We just got killed by a scav. Because we got grabbed right out the pipe by a caramel. Ugh. Oh, that was some bad luck. But at least we know at least we know where we're going and we got some progress. Ask with help fixing your mics just got a new apartment. Ah. Uh, what makes me think what Oh, the, the double camera? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, another scaff. Scav scav Rikais sacrifice for the uh the kelp, those fools. We feel if we feed the kelp demons, they won't rise up and devour us all. I'm sorry, but it must be done. For the good of the tribe. Yeah, the, the the limited things I know with Mike Mike's is um <laughs> Um I was using what is it like the Reaper thing? I remember I was using I can't remember where I got them, but it's like a pack of a bunch of stuff that I had set up with my mic. And the noise canceling one has a like toggle. And the idea is you turn it on, you let 
your background noise stuff happen and it will automatically sort of cut that out. The problem was, is I found it was cutting out parts of my speaking and it was making it have this weird sound. And I just ended up completely disabling it on while messing with a bunch of stuff. And that finally got my audio fixed, which is why how I realized, oh, oh, it was that noise removal thing. So I've gone to setting up like a very simple audio gate. Um, it's not as good as having that sound remover, but it also doesn't mess up my voice. It also makes it a little harder for me to do like whispery or very soft voices, but I'll take that sacrifice for actual audio that doesn't sound 100% awful. Oh, one of the caramels came over here to say hi. All right, that scab is probably dead. Yeah, for echoey, um, I don't really know other than like having stuff to absorb the sound. Try and reduce the echo. Oh, there's something underwater. Do I want to go for the underwater? Yeah. Let's check the underwater. Wait, hold on. We gotta, we gotta dive. Yeah, uh, this is downpour. So this is an expansion that added um, four slug cats and two areas. Um, this is one of the expansion ones, and this is one of the new areas. And. This is actually a situation where the explosive spear is not helping me. Because if I had a normal spear, I could just use it to climb up. This feels like the wrong way. This is the wrong way. Um, that's the wrong way. Is it free? It is not a free DLC. Um, I don't recall how much it is. You can see if it's on the Steam sale. Um, it certainly adds DLC worth of content because um, so if you've only played the base three, Survivor, Hunter, and Monk, um, Spearmaster, Artificer, Rivulet, Gourmand, and Saint are very interesting. Um, especially because they take place like um, Spearmaster, Artificer, and Gourmand take place before the events of even Hunter. Um, so like Gourmand, this is like, I think I heard it said, I think I've read it that like Gourmand is how um, Survivor, Monk, and Hunter are able to get into the events of base Rain, Rain World. Because um, I think the thing that Pebbles opens is what allows the Slug Cats to go into that place themselves. Um, and then Spearmaster and Artificer are special. Never beat the game, you're not pro. Ah, oh, I wouldn't. I don't know. It's certainly a hard game, so I really can't begrudge anyone having troubles. Ooh, unlock. Oh, I thought that was a caramel. The fuck are you? Like, honking. <laughs> Those things are silly. Are they edible though? Alright, I can't eat it. Uh. Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> Alright, they can be Goombud. Oh yeah, this is like the end of Gourmand? So somewhere? Alright, 
Friendship ended with squid cicadas. New friend, whatever these things are. Look at him. Hear him like honk. You're like, do, 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 do. <laughs> Um, I don't want to go down, so let's go left. No problem, Jazia. I hope you feel better soon. I really do. I hope you have the goodest of zooting medication so you don't uh, have too much troubles. Alright, we're good on food. I just need to worry about finding a shelter. I like how the normal ending is very weird and uh, how it's spiritual. Wormgrass, let go of my jumpy boy! Um, and this place, it still feels a little spiritual because of like the cathedral looking places, but like in a different way. This feels like I'm going to an ancient uh, cathedral architecture sort of thing rather than um, some very old and primitive um, you know stone age kind of place oh my god if it went for this worm grass I could stand here and appreciate the background I almost fell into worm grass. Oh, that's danger worm grass. Ah. Oh. ah! All right, thank you, jumpy boy. Jumpy boy one, worm grass zero. Get wrecked. Ooh, shelter, shelter, shelter. Ooh, it's another one of these shelters. Interesting. Hey, Glottal! Feels like a place for a religious experience, but for someone else. Exactly. Oh, look at the little icon for the Jumpy Boys! It makes me think of, um... Ah, uh, what does it make me think of? Oh, I, I can I can visualize it, but I cannot remember if it's from like a video game or a movie or a cartoon. Oh, that's gonna bug me. Is there a jumpy boy still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. Still alive. All right, let's go this way. He's honking differently. Um, you know what? Let's see how far we can get. Because this guy's two-handed. If I let him go, I'm going to lose him. And I kind of like Jumpy Boy over Gooey Duck to get through worm grass. Hey, a slug pup! Hold on, we have got to, we have got to get a slug pup. Hold on. Where the... Ah! Ah! Let go of my boy! Let go of him! Is he... He lives. Um... How do we get up there? We don't. We just die. Or maybe the blue will take us up there. Jumpy boy is so stretchy. He really is. Um. All right. 
That's sad. I wanted to get that slug pup. I wanted to see if we could take a slug pup to the end. Alright, note to self, there is a very, very dangerous uh, swarm of reds in um, there. Dangerous even to our jumpy boy. I love the little, the little toots, little doots. All the slug pups. Is that scripted? That's really strange that it still was over there. I don't think we can make the jump over there. I think we have to get to it from wherever else that pipe goes. All right. I don't want to lose my jumpy boy, but um, we have to juke two blues to get through that area. Hey, buddy. All right, we juke two blues. Easy. Um, is there a way up that I didn't? Nah, there's no way we could have made that jump. Feels like we're going backwards, though. And we cut left? This is backwards. Huh. Down there. Maybe I missed something. Ah. Ooh, there's an unlock? Question mark? Well, we're over here. We might as well as touch it. What did we get? We unlocked green tentacles. Ah, uh, uh, mm. Okay. I see. Can't stop laughing at the noise. They absolutely silly. Um. That's the only way we can go. Up over there. Um. I see a tiny little dot in the water. Maybe we can go underwater? Let me get to, if anything, I'll at least fill out my map. Cause it's, it seems like there's a little tiny down bit here. So let's drop our boy. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Oh, I think there's just worm grass there. Oh, yeah, 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 there's no way down. Yeah, I, I, I was grabbed by, by worm grass. All right, noted. Cool, 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 cool. There is a scav and a whole bunch of spears and bomb spears there. Noted. Huh. Maybe I need a squid cicada and I'll get higher, but I don't think um, the gourmand can use the squid cicada. Which is why I've been so happy with this uh, jumpy boy. Alright, let's check the one other way we haven't gone to see if it's anything different.
Certainly different. What is this? Um, I just for completion's sake, let me go through this pipe. Noted. I wonder if this is the other side of the cathedral. I go through here, we keep going up this pipe. Or it's nothing, and I'm I'm just crazy. They see me jumping, trying to get me honking dirty. <laughs> this is the part where we I I I just use a bunch of the uh, the creature sound effects to uh, go to the beat of the song. Oh, can I? Cannot go left. My only choice is that path up there. Hmm. Not sure I can make it, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm dumb, and I can just grab a squid cicada and go. Ow. Bonked my head. Is there anything I haven't checked? Alright, so I have the squid cicada. Oh, it seems the jumpy boy grabbed a gooey duck. I guess they eat them. Oh, right. Blue lizards. I need to get... Squid Cicada through two blue lizards. What are they doing over here? They're they're having a they're having a little wrestle. Two siblings fighting. One of them bumps his head. It's like shh, 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 shh. I'll I'll let you play my Game Boy. Don't tell mom. Don't tell mom! You're fine! You're fine! Alright, hopefully he gets that squid cicada and not ours. Monch. Dang it, dude. It feels scripted, because we always see that slug pup up there. And they just go right through. Ah! I see. Noted. Alright. Squid Cicadas, no. Yeah, I, I thought I remembered Squid Cicadas don't work for Gourmand, and I was correct. We have to use a Jumpy Boy. I think I see an area maybe we haven't explored. I need, I need like a kazoo cover of a song, but it's just noises from these guys instead. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's uh, a lot of baby centipedes. Um, I 
Hmm. Kazoo cover of Random Gods. I don't know... Random Gods doesn't ring a bell. I need to be careful because uh, the bug's zappiness actually does AoE in water and could be a problem. I didn't want to fall. Random Gods of the Five Pebbles background. Oh, interesting. He newts. He jump. He screams. But most importantly, he jumps. Oh no! Leeches. Leave our little boy alone. He's just an incident little hoppy boy. Let him go. All right, that was an accident. You can't prove I did it. I, you can't prove intent on that. All right. Leeches! Ooh. I feel like we're getting close to another area. We're getting all these woodwinds. Poor jumpy boy so leached up. We're just we're just getting the demons out of him. Alright? He's fine. He'll be okay. He'll be healthy and leaping ever higher than before. Journey's end. Do not kill me! Wow, why do you hate jumpy boys so much, Scavs? Alright, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let our jumpy boy go. I get the feeling we won't need him. Maybe. Roll jumps. I did not even try, to be honest. I was too busy just going. I'll try and grab one. Why? Fucking scabs mean to our jumpy boys. Oh, they eat centipedes. Damn, Jumpy Boys are getting better and better the more I know about them. Jump real high, make amusing noises, hate centipedes. My kind of creature. Uh, we do need to be careful because the centipedes can kill us. Well, the centipede killed this one, so I'm just take a bite out of it real quick. No way the scabs are angry at me, right? Alright, looks like you can roll jump with them. Uh, I have rolled very briefly, so they, 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 we got that going for us. That is, that is accurate. Roll jumps are really good, it looks like. Oh, 
Until I get exhausted. Or I hit incorrect geometry. Uh. Oh, I think this is a cutscene. I can't control my character. Ooh, we got a void pup! A little blue pup. Oh, man. Oh, look at all the slug cats. We got fully grown ones. Oh, those are full-on void slug cats. Oh, no. Oh, is this the original home of the slug cats? Oh, look at them. Oh, the Gourmand is like a teacher. Oh, he's talking about... Oh, that's amazing. I will teach you how to fight. I will teach you how to hunt. I will teach you how to eat. Look at all this shit. Tastes delicious. Put it in your mouth. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so cute. Oh. Oh. Come with me. I will lead you to great lands. I like how Pebbles is like, I sealed it so creatures like you wouldn't get in here, but apparently that's not working. So I'm going to open it up for you to leave, and I want you to tell everyone to go away, please. And instead, what Gourmand does is like, hey guys, gals, creatures, critters, comrades, pals, I got a great new place for us to live. Let's go that way. All right, what is our final ending screen? I feel like, oh, I did not do very well as Gourmand. I don't know if it says, I think I completed. Food quest completed, all right. Awesome. We got that going for us. I believe food quest is technically what I need f to get slug pups. Um, I had I had it turned on because of cheats because I needed it for uh, survivor 100% practice and playing. So I'm not 100% certain. Look at that kill count though. Look at that kill count. I think we got at least one of pretty much everything. Except for red centipedes. Fuck red centipedes. Yeah, that cutscene... Oh my god. Mythgot. That was just adorable. If you continue, you get free children. Oh my god. I am curious. Um, that... Area with the super worms where there's a slug pup at the top pipe that immediately leaves. Is there actually a way to get up there legitimately? I mean, I guess technically I know I can get up there with Survivor by using Star Flying. Because I can get anywhere that's up by a Star Flying. But that seemed like it was a scripted thing for the slug pup to be seen and then move off screen since it was pretty close to the end oh the outer expanse gate remains unlocked beyond this point in the timeline pups can now be found in sandbox mode and in some campaign i see i mean i did have a yeet maybe maybe i just needed to jump from a precise place to be able to make it it just seemed like i wasn't getting enough horizontal Oh my god, a little slug pup with a skewer of stuff jumping on Gorvon's belly. Oh my god. I'm fucking crying. This is so fucking cute. Oh my god. Okay. What time is it? That is... Hmm. 
That is not very long. Instant pass with the yeet might reach. Ah. All right. I'm going to take a quick break to refresh myself, which is good timing. I can kick um, the ads back. Um, I think I kind that's pretty short. I kind of want I kind of want to maybe get Rivulet started. Um, now, if I'm remembering timeline correctly, um, Gourmand is the last slug cat that's in the past from the main three. Um, Rivulet and Saint are after. So I think we are going to have a very large jump in the world. Um, I don't know how far into the future Rivulet is or Saint, but um, it's going to be substantial. I think it's going to be as big as when we played like Spearmaster. Um, the world was very different.